Yep. Now, now let's talk about the RFP process a little bit because I think for a lot of shippers, right? This is kind of new to them. They don't. They they may not have the expertise. I mean, LTL pricing as a whole is is kind of an outlier skill in this industry, right? It's even hard for carriers to find really really good pricing folks, let alone a a SMB shipper, even a midsize shipper to understand. So you come from this, you, you've been involved in RFPs, you've ran RFPs, you've gone back and forth with carriers, um, you've even consulted with them. What are the key call outs you can make? If I'm a shipper, I, I really didn't know the best way to kind of move forward with this. What are your key call outs for at least putting and formalizing together an RFP to submit to your carriers? What would you advise them to do and how would you advise them to structure it? I would at a minimum think a quarter out. So when you want to start doing that RFP, start a quarter out and start capturing the data. There's many tools you can use. As simple as Google Sheets, logging your shipments in there, any accessorials, which carrier, the transit time, the cost, or implementing a platform out there that captures that data automatically for you. There's a lot of different solutions. And I think having that up front is now you're going to have the record of truth when you go to do that RFP. You also will have tools where you can simply export that. You can send over the information and you can just request that that information be filled in by your carriers. Hey, I know what I paid. Have your carriers come back, submit what they would propose for that lane for you and make a decision. And the other thing I would encourage is once you do that RFP, communicate back to your carriers. Mm -hmm. How did it come out? What business do you tend to do over the next 12 months? And try to stay true to that plan. Because just like your own customers, you go out there and secure a deal. How do you feel, even if it's not contract binding, that two months later, they said, well, a different person that was already doing business within changed their price or didn't like the outcome? You would be very frustrated as a business owner. So I think the best is look at it annually, Take that approach, not try to time the market. You're going to have the best results yep. by looking at the long run. Uh, any short-term games playing there are going to have long-term consequences. 